For centuries, there was only one sport on this continent. It was characterized by a deep spiritual involvement intended to honor the essence of combat in which it was undertaken. Those who took part did so as warriors, with the goal of bringing glory and honor to both themselves and their tribes. The sport was known as Bagataway. Today, the sport is known as lacrosse, and it's the fastest growing sport in America. Mastery of lacrosse requires a formidable mix of speed, strategy, technique, and physicality. To many, it seems that the sport has never been more healthy than it is today. But sometimes, in order to move forward, you must pay tribute to the past, introducing Red Bull Bagataway. To bring fans closer to the game's roots, they have launched something as new as it is old. No equipment, no boundaries, and minimal rules. Just a ball, sticks, and men willing to make a special sacrifice for pride and honor. Lacrosse is the original game. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, and to be able to touch back on the roots of how the game was originally played, it's gonna be real fun to watch. The potential behind it is really endless. You know, to have you guys here and compete is pretty cool, and obviously once the elimination rounds start, it'll get pretty competitive. Eight teams from around the country take to the field at Harvard University for the inaugural event. In standard lacrosse competitions, players specialize in offense, defense, or midfield. There are frequent stoppages of play and everyone is required to wear protective gear. Today, none of this applies. In this game with no boundaries, no subs, just a running 20 minute clock, the team that's in the best shape is gonna have the best opportunity to win. Your offensive midfielders are taking 40 yard dodges and taking shots on the run. A game of speed, because there's no offsides, and maybe almost strategy, because you can't have everybody together too much that can kind of cluster things. I think it's gonna make guys a little bit more bold in moving between players. You could have 10 guys up on the offensive end, because they get crowded, but it's also going to lead to more fast breaks. A lot of stick skills will be involved, as well as endurance and being patient, really. Work on the fundamentals, stay true to the game, not get too flashy, because you could get dropped. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. I know there's a couple teams from Maryland, New York, and then a couple Boston teams. I know there's like D1, D2, and D3 players. It's like this good group of, of lacrosse players come from all over the country. In the first semifinal, Sound Shore Slough faces Team Maryland, who's led by Forrest Sonnenfeld, a six foot six attacker who currently plays at Princeton University. We're gonna put one guy on him, John, come stash dude. That's why I came in today. <laughs> Mustache is always tough. This guy just seemed to be insane. But with everyone out on the field, hopefully we can push the ball and create transitions. Despite Stash Dude's efforts, Team Maryland scores the game winner with just seconds remaining in regulation. In the second semifinal game, the heavy favorite, Croart Foot Force, comes out rolling and easily eliminates Croart Swag Yard, 16 7. Nation! Let's go, boys. Croart Foot Force was unable to thwart the offensive onslaught of Team Maryland. Guys really came through in the end. We put some solid defense. Goalkeeper put out of his mind. A couple of diving saves. So much fun. It's like really cool to do something like outside of regular lacrosse. Like this is the first one. I was so sick to be part of it. 